Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, let's uh, understand the object transformations. So right now I've created a simple poly cylinder just by taking from the primitive section. And I just made it as a poly mesh 3D. Now I select this one and then start moving this object anywhere. And you should be able to see I've just moved this object away from the origin. It's not located at the center. So if you could just uh, scroll down to the geometry section and we have this position and we have the values of this position here. So if I just make the values to zero, then the object can go to the origin um, back. So there is another way which you can basically do. That is, let's say if the object is in the same position, just you click this home button and the object will go to the origin there. Uh, you have a other option which is basically related to resetting the transformation. So let's say if the object is uh, scaled way too much and then if I just go to the deformation menu there, you have a button called unify so when i click unify it resets to the 111 scale when we have created our model so let's say if i take this uh, particular model here this is a demo head so we have sub tools in it so if i let's say select the sub tool and then if i have to reset it uh, to the home it's reset let's also try um, I'll, I'll just enable the transparency so that uh, if any changes happen to any sub tools we can clearly see so I go to the unify button and then just click it and you should able to see there is a slight scale uh, which was happened to this model and that could be seen there. I go to the sub tool uh, eyes and then you should able to see the eyes are in the center. Again if I hit the home button uh, it's uh, exactly at the same place. You can just go to this uh, location here and then change the values to zero. It's uh, resetting there. Okay. Uh, let me just undo. Click a home button. Uh, the pivot point is actually at the uh, right location let's say if i hold uh, alt and then click on the location it will um, you know go to the center of the bounding box now when you click home button it goes there so that's the reason why my move tool has not affected that uh, transformations the main reason was the pivot point sitting at the origin so when i say home it's at the home only so change it to the uh, center of the bounding box and then click home button it goes there which is now working here the other thing was like uh, we have size options here okay we got xyz sizes let me put this to one and this is what you should get here now uh, i'll just undo it and then go to the deformation menu and then just click unify then you should be able to see the model has been scaled so let's undo it what's really happening here in terms of scale is concerned so i'll just go to the xyz to one and then also choose this values to one okay okay this is not really uh correlating with what the sizes what we have so let me just go back and then choose the deformation menu and then click unify it will take to its original scale okay so we have to do that let me check with the primitive so i'm going to take a new document here so um just and then um, start creating any primitive let's say i'll take the cylinder press t on the keyboard then in geometry section we have size which is of two units here let me uh, put poly mesh 3d now when i put this value to one uh, the object is scaled to one uh, let me undo it and then see when i go to the deformation menu we have the unify button okay it's not doing any change because that's uh, the standard size of uh, that model uh, so let me try uh, the other primitive which is again sphere which is having a radius of one unit the diameter of two units there and then um, if I go to the deformation unify, let me try polymesh 3D. Oh, sorry. I'll take the sphere, just to make the polymesh 3D and then unify it. It's not doing any change. And then go to the size options. It's two units. Uh, so two units is its standard size where my unify model is doing it. So one is uh, making it to uh, one, one, one uh, width, height and depth uh, dimensions. but what is actually unify doing is it's it's taking to its original size which may not be one so that you need to understand when it comes to size here okay so taking up value of one here is not same as what we do in unify so let me select the model and then uh, scale this model and then when i unify this model it goes to the two 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 sizes which has been the default one okay so that's what the size and position uh, resetting does and uh, we can do that from our move tool manipulator which is the home button and then we have unify which is going to scale our model to the default uh, settings okay 
So these are some tools you should really know when you're dealing with transformations.